Well, there has been a lot of talk about new ideas today. Well, new ideas are fine, but they are also illegal. For five years, I've held my instincts in check because I wanted to be made manager. Maybe it's time for me to just let that thought go. It's kind of painful, but it's also freeing in a way. Now, it's all about my instincts. Hey, Dwight. Stanley, one way or another, you are gonna come with me to make this sale. Pass. Hey, c c can you just let me out of here before whatever comes next? Don't worry, it's just a bull tranquilizer. Nothing to be alarmed about. It's just a man pointing a bull tranquilizer at a coworker. Dwight, you do not learn, do you? For a threat to be credible, you have. Holy sh No, you didn't. I'm sick of you and your. It's all right. Andy approved it. Man, he's really in Twinkle Town now. Is he gonna be okay? I mean, weren't those darts intended for an animal like two to three times larger than him? Okay, this dosage was meant for a very small bull, and Stanley's got way more body fat than they do. You gave him three shots. Shh. This is going to be a very good year. Very good. Jane is at home. Jim is back. My protege Ryan is at corporate. Good stuff. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. No, you're not. No, you are not going anywhere. You're going to stay here until we figure this out. What? You know what? This young man needs to learn that that's not how you treat people. I don't care if it's pizza, good business, is about respect and accountability and follow through. You don't just make promises and pull the rug out from under somebody, do you? Dwight, please escort this young man into the conference room. Right now, get into I'm the not, conference room. I'm not going in yeah, there. Yeah, you are, yeah, you are. And you will come out when you decide to give me a discount on the pizza, please, thank you. Oh, this is stupid. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. It's about to get all stupid up in here. Find anything? We think it's a straightforward kidnapping. Stanley, could you look up accomplices? Why can't you guys do it? Because we're looking up jail time. Fine. I've seen this kid before. He's one of the kids that sneaks onto my farm and steals my hemp. Yeah, I know that guy. He's that farmer that goes really crappy weed. You ready to give me my discount now? No. Okay, what have you been doing in here this whole time? What kind of business is this? We're a paper company. The best paper company in the whole wide world. All right, Dwight, okay. knock it off. You'd better think about what you are doing, young man. You better think about what you're doing. No, I'm an adult. I don't have to think or do anything. You're a kid. You're a little snot-nosed punk kid who thinks he's better than everybody else because he's some hot shot. And you don't know anything about sales. So stop being a disrespectful little jerk, okay? Sales. Yes, yeah, sales. You sell pizza. Last time I checked, that's called sales. You're such a loser. What did you just call him? A loser. What did you say? A loser. What? A loser. Okay, stop. What was that? A loser. A loser. Stop getting him to say it! You just made this worse. A whole lot worse. I can make him talk, Michael. I don't know. Michael? Michael. We are I'm not going to Stop talking all the words! You need to let him go. Let go of little jerk boy before he has learned his lesson. Yes. You know what, Jim? The world would be a better place if people were held accountable for their actions. Yes, but not by kidnapping them. I'm not kidnapping him. I'm keeping him until I get what I want. As a hostage. I think you're overthinking it. I think you're underthinking it. If anyone out there is listening, I'm being held here against my will. I'm a minor. Last week I gave a fire safety talk. <clears throat> And nobody paid any attention. It's my own fault for using PowerPoint. PowerPoint is boring. People learn in lots of different ways. But experience is the best teacher.
today, smoking is going to save lives. The kid. Look, 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 look. Oh. Hey! It's the temp. Look! Oh, my gosh. The temp. Uh, is that the police? Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what happened. Uh, Ryan's big project was the website, which wasn't doing so well. So Ryan, to give the impression of sales, recorded them twice. Once as office sales and once as website sales, which is what we refer to in the business as misleading the shareholders. Uh, another good term is fraud. The real crime, I think, was the beard. Hey, Cream. Hey, so <laughs> what are you guys up to? Ah, uh, hello. You're the man, buddy. I run a small fake ID company for my car with a laminated machine that I swipe from the sheriff's station. I'm sorry. I've just waited for this moment my entire life. I mean, I was interim manager once, but then I shot that gun. What? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Looking good. Mm. Oh. oh, what a day, what a day. Dwight, are you carrying a gun? The holster was a gift from my great uncle Honk. Um, I don't know, I guess he's saying that he's proud of me. Dwight, Andrew? guns make me really uncomfortable. The gun is just an accessory to the holster, okay? I can't walk around wearing an empty holster. Why do you need to but wear the holster at all? Why do you need to keep wearing those booby shirts all the time? Thank you. You could put your cell phone in it instead. Uh, hello? You could put a banana in it. Why would I put a banana in my holster? In case you weren't hungry now, but you got hungry later. Dwight, no gun, okay? Don't make us call Joe. Okay, all right, fine. Everyone calm down. Someone get me a banana. Sorry I freaked you guys out. Ah! Ah! Andy! Ah! Oh! It's so loud! Can you tell us what happened? Um, I was walking to the building and this man asked me for directions and he was holding a map. And when I walked over, he had it out on the map. Phyllis, you're a married woman. The guy was just hanging brain. I mean, what's all the fuss? If that's flashing, then lock me up. Hey, what? Let's see if any of these hey, are working. Hey, 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 Dwight. Dwight. I keep various weaponry strategically placed around the office. I saved Jim's life with a can of pepper spray I had Velcroed under my desk. People say, oh, it's dangerous to keep weapons in the home or the workplace. Well, I say, it's better to be hurt by someone you know accidentally than by a stranger on purpose. So I need you to do some work on the St. Andrews account. I need your urine. I need some filing done. What kind of filing? That just forget it, just the urine. That goes directly to the tester. Just. I need your urine. Like in a cup? Yes, in a cup. We're not animals, Dwight. But what purpose? It's none of your business. Then I refuse. Okay, all right. Just. I went to an Alicia Keys concert over the weekend. And I think I may have gotten high accidentally by a girl with a lip ring. Are you serious? I need clean urine for the lady. My father's name was Dwight Schrute. My grandfather's name was Dwight Schrute. His father's name, Dwight Shrewd, Amish. I loved my father very much. Every morning he'd wake up at dawn and make us biscuits with gravy. When I was little, my dad and I played a lot of games together. My dad cheated a lot, but I never busted him on it. I would have, except I didn't know about it. He didn't tell me till years later, and I was shocked when I found out. What? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. 